My name is Tonya Curry, and this is this week's Acumen Rap. It's a short story. Scratch the surface is still here, and in order to keep your chair, we've come up with something new. As you know, that's what we do. It's called the Acumen Rap, and it's to stop my lengthy mails giving you a heart attack. Don't worry, because now we've covered another base on how to generate the news that you simply cannot face. Let's start across the waters, as I suppose we ought to. The Queen is dead. Wonder what the Smiths think now. Long live the King, as we now give King Charles a bow. Back here at home, oh, I can hear you groan. Cell phone confiscation results in Deputy Principal's car being set alight. Eskom implements stage two load shedding throughout day and night. Madam Busa Siwe's legal fees are over 140 million. I'm sure her love for Ubaba cost us well into a few trillion. Senzo Miyiwe trial reveals withholding a second docket. The judge lost his personality and blew up like a rocket. Tembisa Hospital spent 10,000 rand on a bucket. Whistleblower Diokran was gunned down for this by some shady puppet. Ex-Hawks officer has been sentenced to 17 years for stealing police firearms. Justin Bieber cancels his South African tour, resulting in many fans up in arms. Putko's wild cat strike sees dismissal of 105 employees. Still no one is talking about the coup d'etat where the country is under siege. Good news to end. David McCurr is being fired, so no need for that worry. The judge refused to postpone the life Isidemeni tragedy. Free State Hospital's absence of blankets see patients embracing the cold. Malema's gun case postponed. Isn't this getting old? With fuel prices reduced, we can hope for better times ahead. Tell us if you think this is bold and gold, or am I just simply getting old?